Vanessa from Crafty Gemini Creates and in this video tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make my 15 minute scarf. It looks a lot harder to make than it really is. It will literally take you 15 minutes. After you crank out a few I think you could probably make it even faster than that. The yarn is doing all the work for you in this project so stay tuned and watch exactly how it's done. The fun thing is that we're using this yarn. Look how textured it is. It really gives the entire scarf some body. This is called Homespun Thick and Quick and it's by Lion Brand Yarns. And remember that there's always a link in the description box below this video on where you can click to find all the materials and supplies we're using. This project is really simple because all you're gonna need is some of this Homespun Thick and Quick, a pair of scissors, and your sewing machine. No crocheting and no knitting this time around, okay? So to get started, we're just gonna start pulling out some yarn here. You wanna decide how long you want the actual scarf to be. This can be for kids, you can make it longer so you can wrap it around three or four times, whatever you want to do you can make it your own. I'm grabbing one end here and I find that the length of the scarf that I like is actually the full length right here of my arm span just completely open this way. So that's what I'm going to show you all how to do. All right so let's pull out some yarn to get us started and then I'm just going to hold one end on one hand reach all the way this, the entire length measurement of my arms this way and then I'm gonna swing my arms like I'm flying like a bird and this is quite a workout. Now you're gonna wanna pull as many strands like this out depending on how chunky you want your scarf to be. So the skinny one that I'm wearing only has about 25 and if you drop it it's no big deal just run your hand back over it and grab it again, okay? So the one that I'm wearing has about 25 strands. The chunkier ones that are on the table that I'll show you in a minute have about 44. And just to give you an idea of how much or how many scarves you can make out of one skein, I've made two chunky ones out of one of these skeins. So if you make them skinnier and thinner like the one that I'm wearing, you can probably make four or five. All right, so you basically keep pulling out until you end up with however chunky you think you want your scarf to be. Now I can see that I dropped one down here, which is not a big deal. All I'm gonna do is refold that one and grab it here. This doesn't have to be perfect. Because the yarn is so textured, you can get away with a ton of stuff, and I think it really it just adds to the look of the actual finished scarf. So then, grab it like this. Don't matter that the, you know, it doesn't matter that the ends don't match up. You're gonna trim all that up afterwards. But you're gonna lay it on a table, and then you're gonna take some little ties, preferably in a different yarn. This is the one that I have right here. Actually, I could probably cut off a chunk from one of these. It's so fluffy and textured that really, like, I can cut this and you won't even see that it's missing. But I'm going to just cut this fold here and I'm going to cut myself one of these. Nobody will ever know. That's the beauty of this project. Quick and easy. No perfection is required. Now, you're going to section these off depending on where you want these stitching sections to be. And that's what we're going to do on the sewing machine. This is actually going to hold all the different strands of the yarn together. So say I want one here. I would just tie this off here. I would do the same thing here. Kind of, you don't really have to measure exactly, but you can section it off depending on how far apart you want these done. You're going to do that to the entire scarf that you have here. Then you're going to head over to the sewing machine to stitch it up. And I'm actually going to do one for you right here. So I think I want another band right in the center of these two. Like this. You can see I've stitched here, I've stitched here. I want to do another one right in the center here. So I take it over to my sewing machine. I kind of use these as markers. So you can take it off at that point. I'll leave my hand there. I'm going to head over to my sewing machine and just with a basic straight stitch, I see right where I want to start. This doesn't have to be super perfect. Again, you're just going to squish the yarn down under the presser foot and just take your time because sometimes it'll want to get caught on the front of the presser foot and you just don't want it to snag or anything. So just take your time. And as I work my way through it, just feed the yarn through. If you stitch over some empty spots, it's not a big deal. Just try to go over the yarn. Now instead of cutting my yarn, I just pivot at the end. I get to the end and just take your time, kind of turn the little scarf around, and then just come back in the other direction. Now I'm just going to continue to go back and forth until I make a little bit of a rectangle. You can do these on the diagonal too. A really fun option would be to use some variegated threads. If you're using like a solid uh, yarn, use some fun variegated thread for a more kind of crazy stitching look. can do as little or as much stitching as you'd like. So you can see the yarn is kind of all over the place but the stitching just holds it together and I think you get this really cool kind of freeform look. Now 
If you see that the sections in between your stitched areas here are kind of too fluffy, if you make a really bulky one like this, and you don't like this free form look, there's another option that I think is really cute, and I've done it to the one that I'm wearing here, is just open up this section, and then just pull in any end of the scarf right through there. You get this kind of cool fishtail looking twist. And it also will like condense a little bit the fluffiness of the strands. So you can do that there. And I'll do it on the other end here. Kind of like that look. Once you're done with that, all you need to do is really touch up the ends. And you can see that I've done the same twist to this one. Look at the variety in colors. This is a striping yarn. And this one is called, I think, Granite Stripes. And this is from the same skein. So you can see that you can get two totally different looking scarves from the same skein of yarn. All right, so after you're done with that, head over to your ends here, grab your scissors. And then you're just gonna look to see where all the loops are. This one is pretty much all cut up already and you're just gonna find your loops and cut them apart, okay? Let me see, I have some on this end. You can see when we were pulling out all the yarn, you can cut them like this. If you don't want to, you don't have to. If you're really in a rush or you just wanna finish it up quicker. So just cut all those loops out and then once you're done with that, just kind of hang it like this and you can see that it doesn't really match up and then you kinda of just give it a haircut, really. Chop it. You can kind of make it peek out like this. You can make it flat all the way across. And I think that some shorter ones, some longer ones, really just add to the kind of dramatic feel of this scarf. And there it is, a 15-minute scarf. I hope you guys will give this project a try. I think it's super fun. Get some kids involved. And if you like the video, make sure to hit it with the thumbs up below. Share it across all the different social media sites. And of course, as usual, don't forget to subscribe to this Crafty Gemini Creates channel so you won't miss out on future tutorials. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.